Welcome back to Kawao Island, New Zealand, our home base for the Southern Hemisphere summers. This kind of a boat is not motor dependent. You can row with this in quite strong winds and uh, even a reasonable sea. So you can uh, kedge out an anchor uh, in a fairly strong wind conditions, say up to 30 knots of wind. And uh, it could save your boat some time if you go aground inadvertently. And with the real speed of launching this kind of boat, not having to blow it up, getting it in the water, grabbing the oars and rowing an anchor out could be the difference between losing your boat and not. The big issue with kedging out is to do it smoothly so you don't foul the line when you're hauling it out. The easiest way to do this is go aft to pick up your anchor. Have it on time. Untie it and secure it, and then put the anchor in out of the way, forward part of the middle of the dinghy, flake the line into the boat, the bottom of the boat, like so. This way, if you flake it in, it doesn't foul up. Don't coil it, whatever you do, because it'll be bound to loop over itself. So when you reckon you've got enough out by your marks on the line, you catch it out where you want it. With line, it's quite easy. It just runs out by itself. It's easier than chain. You can catch out with chain, you do it the same way, and you just put your foot on the chain to stop it running out too fast, like a brake. But when you get near the end of the line, just ship your oar, drop your anchor over. Lynn then puts it on the winch, and she can tighten it up. Another point to remember is it's very difficult to handle the line and an outboard at the same time and not, and not get the line in the propeller. Uh, also, if, if you're dependent on the outboard to start to catch out an anchor, there's a good possibility the motor won't start. 